I want to show you how to mat photos using a Logan mat cutter. After looking at several colors, I chose green for this print. The mat will be 16 by 20 and we can get four from a full sheet. First cut the mat in half along the length and measure carefully as not all sheets are perfect. The straight cutter is used for edge cuts. It hooks over and guides along a rib on the cutter bar. All cuts are made from the back side of the mat board. And I'm cutting the green top mat now. Now measure and cut the 20 inch length, giving us the finished top or outer mat. When the light green inner mat and white mounting are cut, stack them and compare their sizes. It's very important to trim the inner mat so that it's slightly smaller. This example shows the inner mat overlapping the print and the outer mat will be cut first. Place the print in the corner of the mat and overlap the scale by a quarter of an inch and measure from both edges. Both happen to be four and seven eighths in this case. Here is the plan. Start with the inner mat. The sides add up to four and seven eighths and I make the bottom greater and they also add up to four and seven eighths. Subtract a quarter of an inch for the outer mat and write the dimensions on the back of each mat. Note the top of each. It's time to cut the outer mat using the bevel cutter. A reference mark is used to start and end the cuts and the handle rotates to engage the blade. Raise the cutter bar and loosen the thumb screws on the guide bar and slide it to two and three eighths. Lower the cutter bar and draw a line and repeat for the full outline of where the mat opening will be cut. Place a scrap of mat board under our mat. The cutter blade will cut slightly into this backing piece. And with the mat firmly against the horizontal and vertical guide bars, lower the cutter bar and place the bevel cutter over its rib. Align the reference mark with the pencil line to start the cut. Rotate the cutter handle to lower the blade and pull it until the reference mark reaches the next pencil line. Raise the blade. As the cuts are made, use this removable tape to hold the center in place until the inner mat is cut. I rub the tape on my shirt first so it's not overly sticky. Now we are going to glue the edges of the outer and inner mats together. Double face tape works, but I mask the center with cardboard and prefer using this spray adhesive. Spray around the edges, then remove the cardboard and carefully pick it up so that the adhesive doesn't get on the front. With the inner mat standing on its bottom edge, set the bottom edge of the outer mat, the one with the adhesive, close to the inner mat and with your fingers feel to center the two mats before touching them together. I'll use this roller called a brayer to help bond the adhesive before the tape is removed. Notice the mask I used while spraying the adhesive. Now to cut the inner mat with an opening which is slightly smaller than the outer mat below it. Draw the pencil lines for the cuts. The outer mat is against the guides now because we cut the inner mat slightly smaller. The cuts will then be parallel and evenly spaced. Ah, now the moment we've been waiting for. It's time to remove the tape and see what we've accomplished. Pull the tape slowly, and sometimes it will want to tear the paper, but by always pulling towards the center, it won't harm the mat. That looks pretty nice. I can't wait to see it on the print. With our dimensions and remembering that the mat will overlap the print by an eighth of an inch, position the print on the mounting board. Use post-it notes to temporarily hold it in place while checking the position with the mat. Draw a line to mark the print position taking care not to fingerprint the photo. The mounting can be either mat board or foam core. The straight cutter has a blade position to also cut the thicker foam core. For contrast entries, I use the spray adhesive on the back of the print, stick it to the mount, and roll it smooth with the brayer. I also use the adhesive to bond the finished mat to the mount. But I'll show you another way. You may want to frame the print without harming it. A product called Art Tape can be used to make a T-hinge. This tape is acid-free and removable. Stick lengths of tape to the back of the print with a portion extending above the print. Two are sufficient for this size. 
Position the print and tape over the ends of the other tape, creating the T-hinge. Finish by rolling the tape down. Now you may stand the print up and admire it with the mat in place. It's ready to frame and enjoy. I hope you will discover how mats can enhance your photos. I really like the size and features of this product. These are the current model numbers that show improvements over the older model pictured here. The mat guide and squaring arm have proven to be essential.